And we're back at the Estra 2012 Exposition at the DCG Systems booth with John Muzio. John's going to talk to us about the company and introduce their latest innovation. John, take it away. Thank you very much. Uh, DCG has been around for 25 plus years with a big background in, um, in failure analysis system, stemming from Schlumberger and all the way up into what we see today with a big conglomeration of different uh, companies. Uh, so what I'm showing today is what's called the ELITE system. Uh, ELITE stands for Enhanced Lock-In Thermography for Thermal Emission. And what the system is, it's basically a failure analysis uh, system that is designed with this lock-in technique. Lock-in thermography is a principle that syncs the biasing of the device to the detector itself. By doing this, we're able to achieve both amplitude and phase information. Now the amplitude, of course, is going to give us the location in X and Y of where the hotspot is. The phase information, however, gives us the ability not only to see where normal heating of a device would be from standard biasing from an ATE or other means, but also it could give us the phase information. Now phase information is incredibly important for lock and thermography as it gives us information where the defect is located in Z. So with all of these two, the X, Y, and the Z components, we can apply that to a 3D structure, stack devices, uh, TSV type of analysis. So having these three um, major components, uh, we can look at wafer level, we can look at package level, and while looking at a package level type device, um, it's a non-destructive type of uh, failure analysis that you would do. When you're applying just a bias without using a lock-in technique, it just heats up the device and the heating blooms out in, in across the entire device and you're not able to pinpoint accurately where this failure location is. So by using this we achieve high sensitivity and coupled with the uh, MWIR, medium wave infrared lenses, we're able to achieve uh, a high spe spatial resolution with the lenses that we have to offer. The system comes with various different options. These range from different lenses, uh, different probing type of environments. So you have the ability to do simple uh, FA package analysis or you could do double-sided probing, full wafer probing. Uh, an example here is a, a simple package type of probing system um, that has an XY movement and, and also has a motorized lens turret, so you can easily navigate land probes and be able to do your analysis quickly. Uh, over here is an example of what the software will look like. It's basically laid out in a quadrant type of format where we have four images displayed. One for the amplitude we discussed, phase information, and topography. Topography could be thought of as like a video image, but it's all done in the infrared. So if we look at, we can do an overlay of the amplitude onto the topography and we can exactly figure out where our location is. Uh, back with the 3D information, you can use an, another software package which is called Phase Shift. And Phase Shift gives us the ability to take a model of your device, take measurement data at various frequencies and superimpose the actual data on top of the, um, of the model information. And so this can tell us within the stack of, of, of where the, the defect location is. John, thank you for your time today. For more information, visit the website dcgsystems.com.